that alpha at 93%. Compensating. You're an inspiration to us all, Knight. Do us proud. So, I bet you're eager to get your hands dirty on our new project. How much has Maxon told you about it? He didn't tell me anything. Makes sense. We've been trying to keep it under wraps until the time was right. Come on, it's this way. Unless you're blind as a bat, I'm sure you've noticed that we've been building a gantry on the tarmac. Maxon and Kells have been looking for something that'll tip the balance when we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Institute. Now, the Pridwin might be a big beast, but she's not built for fighting. That's where our new project comes in. This storage bay full of parts is what's left of Liberty Prime. The Brotherhood used it in the Capital Wasteland as a weapon against the Enclave. It's the most advanced robot the Brotherhood has ever had at its disposal. Unfortunately, Liberty Prime was destroyed in the line of duty. I've spent the better part of the last few years piecing him back together. And if you think that was easy, try rebuilding a Protectron while you're blindfolded. Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. Do you remember that holotape of Institute data I gave you? I really need it back. I'd appreciate knowing why you want me to hand over highly sensitive data first. I'd like to share the holotape with the Minutemen. I think they need it as badly as we do. I'm not sure why you trust them with it, but it's up to you. After all, you're the one who got it in the first place. Here's the original. Already made myself a copy. Proctor. In order to get Liberty Prime fully operational, we're going to need your help. My help? I don't know a thing about robot repair. Why don't we leave the repairing to my scribes? You're going to be doing the legwork. Now, the good news is that we've got most of Prime's parts fully assembled. The bad news is that it's going to take more than a few rivets and some spot welding to get them working again. The first problem is his CPU. It's fragile, and every time we try to feed power to it, it blows itself out. Why is the power blowing out his CPU? Liberty Prime has a highly complex power system. A good deal of that system was damaged when he exploded. So I'm working in the dark trying to come up with parts on my own. Luckily, you were able to convince Dr. Madison Lee to return to the Brotherhood. She was on the original build team for Liberty Prime a little over a decade ago. I've already spoken to her, but she's reluctant to work on Prime for some reason. If you could get her down here to lend a hand with his power system, we can get the big guy moving.
Can you believe synths are replacing humans with exact duplicates? Makes me sick. I want to have Night Captain K take a look at that injury. Attention, this is a reminder. All recovered technology must be presented immediately to Proctor Quinlan for evaluation. Anyone despair, found brother. in possession of we'll undocumented technologies account. will be subject to If you're here to talk me into working on Liberty Prime, you can forget it. What changed your mind? Nothing changed my mind. I promised you I'd return to the Brotherhood, and I've kept my end of the bargain. Do I need to remind you why you made that promise in the first place? No, that won't be necessary. Tell Proctor Ingram to get her scribes ready. It's going to take a hell of a lot of work to get Liberty Prime back online, but we'll get it done. Unless you like getting radiation sickness, I'd stay away from ferals. Quinlan? Never expected Dr. Lee would return to the Brotherhood. But you're not here to discuss history, are you? Are there documents you wanted to turn in? Or were you here to help with a research patrol? I found some technical documents for you. And they're in wonderful condition as well. Excellent work. Here are the caps that I promised. Remember. The Commonwealth is an almost unlimited source for these technical documents. Check every building you explore during your patrols very carefully, and you might be pleasantly surprised at what you find. With your reconnoiter of the Institute complete, we finally have first-hand knowledge about their facility. I'd gladly lay down my life if it keeps humanity from repeating the apocalypse. Things are off to a good start. Isn't that right, Doctor? I hope so. Prime suffered some significant damage to his memory core. I wish your people would have been a bit more careful, Proctor. The good news is that the damage isn't irreversible, and I should be able to get the power flowing into his CPU core without overloading. If your people stay out of my way, that is. Hmm, charming, isn't she? Sorry about that, Ingram. Don't worry about it. We might be butting heads on a few issues, but I've dealt with worse. Besides, Dr. Lee's worth all the aggravation. We're working with one of Prime's original designers. I don't see it getting any better than that. In fact, since things are going so well, we're gonna have you start building as electromagnetic actuators. What do the actuators do? Pretty simple, really. The actuators are what allows Liberty Prime's arms and legs to move. Prime's new limbs are way too heavy for the simple hydraulic pistons he had in the past. We're gonna have to rip those out, construct a brand new system using electromagnets, and install them in his limbs. What we need you to do is build the actuators for us. Now that you know what the actuators are, you need to know how to make them. These are the plans and the materials list. Don't lose them. Now before you get that look on your face, you'll be happy to know that we have plenty of the raw materials on that list right here at the airport. The only thing we need you to head out and find is a high-powered magnet. 
according to Proctor Quinlan, the best place to find one is in any of the ruined hospitals around the Commonwealth. We've already sent out a few teams to find the rest of the high-powered magnets you'll need. They should be back by the time you return. Once you start building the actuators, we need one for each limb, so you'll need to make a total of four. Good luck. Watson can be a little obsessive when it comes to rules and policies. I'm glad to see you return safely. I know the task was difficult, but I needed you to see firsthand how dangerous a rogue synth can be. Gabriel and his gang were sick bastards, hanging their victims up like trophies. I'm just glad it's over. While we can do nothing for Gabriel's victims, we can at least take comfort in the knowledge that the threat has been removed. But enough about that. The task is done. And you've returned our synth safely to us. I couldn't have hoped for a better outcome. Uh, well done. While you were away, I had quarters prepared for you. You'll find all the basic necessities, as well as a generous stock of arms and equipment. Go and have a look. I think you'll be quite pleased. My apologies, sir. I was issued a defective cleansing unit. Yes, sir. at full capacity. What? I'm not even doing anything. Well, hello. Hi, mister. If you need medical attention, see Dr. Volkert. I can't express how truly humbling it is to stand in your presence. Your quarters are just inside, sir. Ahem. <clears throat> Your quarters are just inside, sir. When you're finished here, sir, Father wants to see you.
Sounds like those raiders at Libertalia were quite a handful. Reporting status. All functions normal. Ah. Hello, Father. Tell me. What would you do when someone has stolen from you? That's a loaded question. What's been stolen from you? Institute property is not often taken from us. We cannot react lightly when it happens. The group that calls themselves the Railroad have acquired several synths from the Institute. Synths that had gone missing in recent months. And they no doubt mean to free these synths. In their delusion that synths are somehow sentient beings. You've been in contact with the Railroad, so you're aware of their misguided beliefs. They mean well. They're only doing what they think is right. You dealt with Libertalia. That's the result of their selfish, short-sighted plan. Usually they are a minor nuisance, but lately they have become more emboldened. I'm afraid we've reached the point where a response is necessary. We have learned the current location of these synths, and need to reacquire them before the railroad can hide them. That sounds way too dangerous. It shouldn't be. But it's important that we act on this soon, before the railroad has any indication we've tracked them. We also don't want the Brotherhood of Steel getting wind of the presence of the synths. That would only complicate matters. Is it just me, or will I have backup? Of course, sir. We'll be waiting for you outside Bunker Hill. You'll have support should you need it. But we want to keep this small. Hey. Here's that holotape you gave me. Full of Institute data. I hope. Well, all right. I'll start digging into this and see if I can make heads or tails of it. What do you hope to find? Whatever the Institute doesn't want anybody to know. Uh, all the good stuff on here is going to be encrypted. So the first job is to see if I can crack it. After that, well, I'll have to see what I've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. Watch where you're pointing that thing.
Pam needs you in her room. Please, work with us instead of the Minutemen. The lives of many synths Got a lot of safe. synths in play right now. Makes things really dangerous. I'll work with you then. You have no idea how relieved I am to hear that. What I'm about to tell you is the most closely guarded secret the railroad has. It's time you learn about Patriot. There's a man, or woman, we're not sure, inside the Institute, who helps Synths escape to freedom. Dozens of Synths owe him their lives. We don't know his name. We've never had a way to contact him. So we gave him the code name Patriot. So you need to infiltrate the Institute and make contact with Patriot. I'll do my best. Excellent. Tom devised a way to send a message to Patriot. We can plant a coded message on an Institute terminal. And, if all goes well, he'll respond. Just see Tom, and you can proceed from there. Can I talk to you? Something on your mind? The Institute knows about Bunker Hill. They're planning to recapture the synths there. The timing couldn't be worse. The old man's been sitting on those four synths. There's nowhere else that's safe we could put them. Maintaining your cover is vital. But this, the sacrifice is just too great. Stockton and the synths are depending on us. We can't let them down. Well said. We've never known when and where the Institute would strike us next. But now we have a chance to turn the tables. We wait until the enemy is in position, then we hit them, hard. No one they send out comes back alive except you. Understand? With me working the inside angle, this is doable. We can't attack too early. We need to draw them into the kill zone, and then spring the trap. You'll know when. You'll probably have a coarser escort. You'll have to take them down. You've done it before, but it'll still be dangerous. Is all this really worth it? We can't afford to sacrifice Stockton and the synths. There's just too few of us left. And we can't relocate them without compromising your cover. It's a risk, but it's one we have to take. So get it done. Hey, it's Fixer. Fixer's back. Oh, man, you were actually there? Inside the belly of the beast? No time for that, though. Let's set you up to contact Patriot. I got here one genuine Tinker Time special. Just load her up onto a holotape, plug her into any Institute terminal, and execute. 